Dude, because I've always been a fan of like the Matrix movies, so I'm all about just like, you know, guns. I need lots of guns, lots of them. <laughs> and just like the whole Matrix thing, and then just like, you know, running on the walls. You know, when you want to take somebody out, you take them out properly, you know, sci fi style, you know, it's just like. That's awesome. You know, you know what I mean? Guns are fun. Yeah. But you know what? Right. I mean, it just it's not impressionable. You know, as, as when you're taking out someone, you got to leave a mark. You got to be like, yeah, this is the guy that does this all the time. Hmm. I would be the guy to be out there with a bow and have some awesome, like, tips on there and then finish it off with a knife and then, like, boom, son. It's like, it was the guy taken out by an arrow. Yes, well, that's the 17th confirmed kill we've gotten. But you know what I'm saying, right? Yeah. 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 What about you, Derek? Hey, Yo. Derek. Yo. Bro, what's going on? We are trying to really figure out here what's the best way to take someone out. Yeah, man, you want to like, take them out. Duck deal, son. You know, Finally, you guys out. come to the master. I thought you would never ask. I knew this was going to happen. All right. This is what you do. You want to take someone out professionally? Yeah. Yes. Straight you want to get it done, deal. right? Yes. yes. First of all, you pick you up some flowers, right? Mm. Never heard of favorite kind, something like that, or... Just a nice kind. Okay. You order a limo, right? Maybe even an Uber if you kind of, you know, low on funds. Uber cool too. Mm-hmm. As long as you pick uh-huh. her up. Mm-hmm. Have her meet you at a beach. Secluded beach. Mm-hmm. One on one. All right. Okay. okay. You got the picnic somewhere. all laid somewhere. out. You got candles. Picnic. You got her favorite okay. wine. You never know what's going to happen later on. You got her favorite food, favorite fruit, a little massage, you know what I'm saying? And get a, like, afterward. And that's... That, that's how you really do it. That's how you take someone out for real. I don't, you're guaranteed to get it. What, what the whole? Guaranteed. Are you like beating her with the bottle afterwards? Is there taking poison her? in the wine? Or like, yeah. What, what, uh, no, like, man. Like, it's a date, right? You beat her with the bottle, right? Date? Dude, we've been talking about like five hours about this. What? Yeah, yeah man. like professionally taking these guys, assassinating, getting her to take them out. Assassinating? Yes. Man, I'm a Christian. I don't do stuff like that. Well, hallelujah. Alright guys, we're back. Break Room Blitz. Thanks for watching. I'm your boy DeAnthony. I'm my boy Don. I'm my boy Conch over there. So we just came back from seeing... The accountant. Ooh. Boom, baby. Yeah. But, Boom. what do you guys think about our shirts today? Uh, I'm back in the Civil War. Yeah, I'm jacket. It was raining today. I took yeah. my jacket off, though. It's about but, doing uh, time. Doing it Mr. Robot cool. style with the hoodie. You know what I'm saying? Alright. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to just jump right into it. The accountant. Is this something that people should be watching? Definitely watch this movie. Absolutely agree. Watch this. But, yeah, Ben Affleck coming out of nowhere with these roles, man. All right, so let's let's go through the synopsis. If you don't know what it's about, he's a mathematical savant with more affinity for numbers than people. He's living as a freelance accounting for dangerous criminal organizations. He decides to take on a state-of-the-art robotics company as a legit client, finally. But as he gets closer to the truth about the discrepancy that involves millions of dollars, the body counts start to rise and heads start Rolling. Rolling, son. Dude. <laughs> like, literally. Like, professionally. <laughs> you do get yeah. a couple of them. So, I'm just getting into it. I'll do my blitz real quick. Yeah. This was an awesome movie. I thought it was it was well put together. That it was um, intellectually thought out. It wasn't just like another remake of other action movies. Right. Like, like in the same genre. I just thought it was kind of its own little genre. Kind of like a drama action movie, kind of. Yeah. And it was just awesome to me. I got my intellectual value. I got my action. I was definitely laughing. So the action was awesome. <laughs> yeah. And, oh, um... You should have heard this guy. I really enjoyed myself. It was a, a very easy, enjoyable watch, for sure. All right. So if you had to rate it, one out of ten? Oh, uh, sorry, guys. <laughs> um, if I had to rate it, I'm going to rate it in... 8 out of 10. There was one or two things that I didn't like. We'll get to that later, but I'm definitely ready to 8. Uh, I want to give it like an 8 point. Let me 8.5. Eight point 0.5 for the originality. Yeah. But I still didn't like <clears> some <throat> things in there, so, but. All right. Yeah, so, I mean, like, real quick, Blitz. Uh, pretty much, you know, watching this movie, like, I was literally thinking, 
dude, he is playing the Batman role right now. Oh, geez. But then, like, as quickly as they showed us that, because they showed him as a little kid growing up, you know, yeah. they kind of give us, like, a glimpse of, like, you know, his play on, like, an intellectual value, like you said. So I got, like, this whole, like, goodwill hunting with the numbers and everything going on. <laughs> and I was just like, dude, he's totally taking one out of, like, Bourne, Jason Bourne, you know, like yeah. Matt Damon. And then, like, uh, there's a couple of actors in there, like uh, J.K. Simmons that we know of, and I heard that he's supposed to be Commissioner Gordon in the new Justice League movie. Oh, really? So, nice. I was like, dude, if we got Batman and Gordon in here, and we already see them playing these, you know, hand-to-hand -hand role, vigilante, and then government official, I can tell that, you know, Batman's gonna be good just from this movie. So, I mean... From this aspect, like you said, it's really original. I loved it. I couldn't really predict that much of it, so I kept being mm -hmm. surprised from it. And I, I, I love the acting in it. Everybody was original character. So I got to give it 8.5 out of 10. Nice. There you go. Awesome. Um, <clears throat> so uh, cracking down. I have a little bit of a different routine right now, but overall, labeled out wh what these characters are for me. But we have Ben Affleck playing Christian Wolf. He's overall our protagonist. We've got Anna Kendrick, who's a supportive sidekick role, but she's also the plot thickener. Uh, we also have John Bern Bernthal. He is from Walking Dead and Daredevil, yeah. and he is actually our plot twist. Punisher! Yeah, right, Punisher, straight up. The, and then we have John Lithgow, who's our antagonist. And uh, technically, uh, you know, you mentioned J.K. Uh, Simmons. He's almost like our narrator through this whole thing, which is kind of cool. Yeah. But... Um, you know, the, the, the hero to villain complex, I got it to an extent. Mm -hmm. It was it was good, um, but it, it wasn't quite narrowed out the way I would have liked it to. Overall, the character dynamics between Ben Affleck were amazing. Anna Kendrick, obviously a great performance. Simple, great, adorable, loved it. And then I, the plot twist in this, you couldn't predict it. There were some things I was feeling, and then when it happened, I'm like, I knew it! <laughs> so it really threw me for a limb. But overall, 8.5, I want to give it a 9, but my hero to villain complex is very important to me. And uh, overall story, character dynamics, it's, it's all there. It's, it's good. Yeah, great movie. Spoiler free right there. Spoiler free. We're about to get into it because they mentioned a couple things that I just can't wrap my mind around <laughs> with why they said it. But um, so that's our spoiler free. That's our blitz right there. I would definitely say go see it. If you don't want to know more, go ahead and turn it off. But since you love our faces so much, I know that you're going to continue to watch it. <laughs> right? Right? I hope so. Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, man, so I got to just throw it out there. I know we're not at that point of the video yet. All right. But one thing I did not like is Anna Kendrick. Oh, she was so irritated. <laughs> oh, man. I couldn't stand with it. Man, if they would have had someone else a little stronger, a little more, um, I don't know, like prepared. She was, cause man, she was all, she was like, how come do you know all these things? What's going on here? And versus, thank you for saving my life. Like, that's what I want to hear. I want to say, I want to hear, thank you for saving my life, and what do I need to do to continue to protect my life? But that was her character. All these, and it sucked. Man, <laughs> she's character. like 21, he's like 41, and they're trying to build some type of chemistry? No way. She's not 21. She's, 21. she's, like, she's like 21. She's no. like in her like yeah, late true. 20s. Yeah. Not late 20s. 20s. Maybe 30s. No. She, she's like, totally. She's like 20-something. Uh, and no. yeah, she could be my girlfriend. But, but, okay, I just wanted to say that. I just, that's, that's already, that's a point off right there. I got All a right. rebuttal for you on that. Uh, oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, but watching it, were you feeling it? Yeah, I mean, I was feeling it. I mean, like, uh, uh, when you talk about action, this movie definitely has it. We talk about story, it, it gave us a perfect amount of story in all the right places, you know? So it's like going back, like, okay, why is he like this? He's so analytical, he's so weird. It's like, oh, well, like growing up, he had this disorder, you know? And right. so already he's a flawed character, yeah. you know? And it makes him flawed, it brings him into human terms, you know? He's not just some like math wizard crunching numbers and then like assassin by night, you know? Now, wasn't your average type of storyline as far as like, like Jason Bourne or whatnot? No, Did that right. bother you in any no, way? No. I love that completely because the thing is, this is a different type of assassin. Like, I mean, this guy has, you know, he has a syndrome. You know, a legitimate you know issue with himself as far as a you know person right. goes, and um, the cool thing is how he used that to 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 be able to actually work that as a pro for him in his life. Yeah, and um, so it was. It's a different take. I mean, name any any assassin in any movie currently that has something like that and is still like B A 
flat out done. Like I actually picture this character in the same world as John Wick in that same badass type of environment, flat out, just because of how unique he was. Yeah, yeah. he was awesome to me. Yeah, um, like the whole him being autistic. You know what? Honestly, I'm gonna just say this. Um, I wish they would have used the word savant because that would have let me know they did more homework. Because a savant is someone who is. He was actually functioning with that autistic mm-hmm. disability. Oh, totally. Yeah. You know, and they're they're at a high level. Right. Not just they have tics or whatever. Right. At a high level they can perform, you know, with math or, you know, I don't know, any other thing. Right. And they didn't use that, so that bothered me a little bit. That means they didn't really do their homework. But he was definitely a savant. Because oh, he was high level functioning, like yeah. man, he when he got down to it, he knew his shit. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. You know, um, it, for me, it, it spoke to my intellectual value. It wasn't just all explosions and guns and killings right. and stuff. Yeah. You know, it actually, I felt like the, I felt like I was connecting with the writer. You know, because I felt yeah. how much totally. detail he put into it. He didn't just say like, he, like, let me get a cookie cutter version of a. You know, action movie and put it into mine. No, not at all. Yeah. He actually said, you know what, I'm going to do something a little different. And for me, the fact that he was he had a disability kind of made it more real world. Right. Because we have a lot of that going on. Yeah, so absolutely. I like that. I definitely enjoyed it. Yeah. I, I literally, like, if they would have told me, like, based on true events, I would have been like, oh, dang. <laughs> you know? Because that's how I felt from it. I was yeah. like, this actually went down? Whoa. I want to know who is, who is this guy? Right. You know? Right. And it's like, because, like, right off the bat, you know, they, they put us in, like, this guy is taking out, like, this mob, uh, this Italian mob, you know? And so it kind of takes us in that role, that that world of his, you know. It's like, whoa, this guy's all professional. And then we find out, you know, growing up as a kid, he he was completely flawed, you know. Oh, yeah. right. But, I mean, he had, you know, his dad as his parents to, like, help him through these problems. So okay, so like really that. quick since you brought that up. Yeah. This is off, off topic or yeah. off the agenda. Go for it. Go yeah. for it. Do you think that was kind of like child abuse a little bit? The way he forced his oh. kids to learn? Mm-hmm. No. I, I think it was all like completely logical reasoning. He was using that. Because he was he, he was making his kids get their ass whooped. So basically, the dad he was a um, he comes from a military background, right? Uh, mm-hmm. Later on in the story, they tell us he was a corporal, and so he was a pretty high level official. And they pretty much went to have him uh, his kids train in like all these different parts of the world. So he was trying to get the best training wherever it was. Take his kids there. So that they can be fully functional members, even though they're getting their ass beat throughout this movie, I'm okay with that because I, I can see that he's doing it from like a, a background, like a, you know, not not babying your kids, but like you know, it, it's like a harsh love. But can you or, see how <laughs> the world would see that as child abuse? Yeah, like I think that's sure. the thing is, there's a couple things with that. I mean, the thing is, <clears throat> I, I look at it and the way I see it is, that's all their father knew. That's why the mother was in the picture. The mother was supposed to be that that nurturing side. And that, back in the day, that's the way it was. That's the, that's the way the, that dynamic worked. I agree. And the thing is, she bailed. She's like, "This is too hard for me. I'm out." And you know, even the the brother uh, Braxton goes up to the window and he flips her off on the way out. He's like, "You know what? You, did, you know, <laughs> that was awesome. you gave yeah, up I loved it. it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You gave up on us. You're bailing." And the dad, that's all he knew. That was yeah. his life. But he knew that that worked for him. Mm-hmm. So why wouldn't it work for his boys? If you were the brother, would you have been, like, resentful of him? Because I'm getting my... If you were the brother, if yeah. I'm the brother, I'm getting my ass whooped because you have a problem. I don't have a problem. Yeah. Yeah. Why, yeah. Do, why am I here? But yeah, I, I, That's where I... They, they, they force him into yeah. that, like, competitiveness. They, exactly. He, well, he, they even state that he is the one brother that didn't want to do it when they're in that car. You know, he stayed, he cleared out, clarified there's one son that wants to pr- go push through and one son that wants to hide like a little girl kind of type of thing and and that was Braxton and the thing is like you can tell he didn't want to do it but at the same time he was backing up his brother and that's the beautiful thing is he always supported his brother and that's the way family should be and I think he benefited from it too because they both got like super high level training martial art training you know yeah and I mean they show you in that (laughs) same scene you know it's just like the one brother with the disability, you know, is taking on a group of kids that we're making fun of them. Mm-hmm. And then the brother goes in to back them up. Mm-hmm. So it's just like any one of them, if it was either brother, they could have taken on a group of them, you know, by yeah, themselves. Definitely. Okay, so back to the agenda. All right. <laughs> <laughs> is this, would you say he's in like your top five anti hero? Because he's not really a hero. Right. He's not an agent. Yeah. He's something a little different, which is which is awesome. Yeah. Um, but would he be like kinda your top action hero guy or action 
I would say yes, uh, just instantly. Like, yeah, I want to see the next movie. Like, what's next? You who, know? Would, who would you compare him to? Who do you think he could would be a good rival? I already stated it, <clears throat> but in, in this new age of action heroes, of action stars, so to speak, mm-hmm. you know, there's a couple guys that are just kind of passed on. Jason Statham, um, you know, I guess like Dwayne Johnson's kind of coming into the picture and stuff like that, like Vin Diesel and stuff like that. They're kind of by- bypassing now. Yeah. This new era... I believe these two. There's two movies that start out for me: John Wick and and uh, Christian Wolf uh, for the Accountant. Yeah. I could totally see these two in the same world together. I can totally see these two going at it and it being one hell of a. That's fight. a really yeah. good one. I love that comparison. I don't know who would win that one. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like they yeah, did so good. well. The uniqueness between both characters. Oh, they're just man. so great for this day and age. And and I would love to see that. I would love to see them bump into the hotel and him be like, "Hey, Christian." You know, freaking uh, what, Mr. Wick. Yeah, right. <laughs> it'd be, it'd be yeah. cool. So it'd just be interesting. It'd be cool to see. Yeah, that is wow. That'd be awesome. That, that I would love to see that. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I'm gonna mention mine. Yeah. <laughs> I, that's, I have no. Other, that's no better comparison. That, that, there you go. That's a really good comparison right there. Because like, I mean, you got you know, both around maybe the same age almost too. Exactly. Right? Yeah. yeah. If you like John Wick. You should definitely be seeing this. Oh, John yeah. Wick. And yeah, get ready absolutely. for John Wick too. Oh my oh, gosh, I can't wait for that. So good. That's a great comparison. Wow. Yeah. I was... You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> Hollywood, you're welcome. <laughs> so, who would be like your least favorite character? The, the whole movie? The whole movie. Uh, you already know mine, so. So, really, when. <clears throat> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> sorry. Don't talk about my girlfriend like that. Yeah. Really? <laughs> Watch out for Anna. She is nothing super cute. cute. Nothing cute. <laughs> super cute. Okay. All right, take right. it She's super cute. Yeah. Anyway, so back at it. Um. <laughs> <laughs> my my character, you know, like, when I think about the villain, you know, it's like, okay, did we actually have a villain? Yes, we kind of did, but they pulled the Scooby-Doo on us where you kind of figured it's the person who hired him to begin with. Mm-hmm. It's the guy that owned the robotics. And typically, I, I'm not a fan of Scooby-Doo. Whatever hate you want to give me, that's fine. But from what I know about it, it's always the person who hires him. <laughs> <laughs> It, no, no, it's always the red herring, okay? <laughs> that is a good comparison, wow. Yeah, so it was like, I didn't think about in every single movie, I kind of got to think to myself, are they pulling a Scooby-Doo on me? <laughs> like, it was like a know, Scooby-Doo. From here on out, at the end of the movie, when they do that, I'm like, okay, Raggy. Yeah, exactly. Wow. So, is that a bad thing? It's a bad thing, because that tells me, like, they weren't creative enough to make it anything else. Mm, interesting. But you know what? what you know what? To, to kind of go off of that, my... So, you, we know Anna's my least favorite character. But, mm-hmm. another thing I did not like was I felt like the the government part of this sure. was irrelevant. Yeah. It just didn't... It didn't need to be there, and they were in there too much? Mm-hmm, it's, yeah. I mean, it's one thing... I, just, I didn't. I just didn't, I didn't think that they need to be in there. I'm trying to justify them being in there, but honestly, I think the movie would have been just fine without them. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, it kind of gives you maybe a like a push towards the part two. Right. But honestly, as far as this one, I think they just did it because they weren't sure if the story because it's an original story. It yeah. is. Yeah. So there's no proven concept. So not, they're not really I sure how it. it's going to be received. Mm-hmm, yeah. Yeah. So I feel like that's why they put him in there, but honestly, I just didn't like. I just did, I didn't like how uh, what's his name, J.K. Simmons' character kind of blackmailed the the black agent into even taking on the job. Yeah. Versus like I'm gonna promote you. I didn't, I didn't understand why he was doing. It that. was like a forced promotion because basically yeah. they knew that whoever was gonna be at the top or or you know be his, his successor uh, that that lady was. Uh, he has to let her know that, like, listen, this guy is actually a vigilante. He's on our side, and he's going to kind of show you where the villains are and bring them to you. I get that, but why? So so the head of the uh, Treasury Agency mm-hmm. says, he, he brings a girl, the black girl, in there, and he says, you know, pretty much he outs her as far as, like, being a, a convict or having a record. Right. And if you don't, you know, do this job for me then I'm going to turn you in and then you're going to go to jail for 20 years or whatever. Right. And I'm like, well, damn. Like, okay, I thought we was cool, yeah. you know? Yeah. And then all of a sudden he wants to, like, be her mentor through all this. Yeah. I just didn't like that yeah, part. It, it really... I actually saw you during the movie. Yeah. And when I saw that, I'm like, I'm like, uh-oh, Derek's going to go Superman punch right now. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I completely agree with you. The way he went about it was really screwed up. But the thing is, I know why they did it in the movie. It was kind of one of those underlining things. It's like, 
It's like something a teacher would do to you if they knew that you were really good. They would purposely give you a C to drive you harder. Mm -hmm. But this wasn't the right way to go, nor the right time to do this. <laughs> but <laughs> he, he did it because he knew how good she was, and she, he knew that she can do the job. Yeah. That's why he put her in that position, and he wanted her for the job because it's almost... And none of this is stated, which makes it hard to back up, but in my head I'm trying to make sense of it like you are. Well, then why and, not say, you know what, if you don't take this, I need your, your, uh, resignation. your resignation. Yeah. yeah. You could, then that's I'm what I'm throw you in jail? Yeah, but it's, it's less so impacting like force you. Yeah. So yeah, it's less impacting. It's less threatening to her. She was already good at her job. She was already going to do it. Yeah, well. but if he said that yeah. I expect a resignation, she could have just said, fine, I'll get a job somewhere else. She wasn't going to do that. She might have. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, the one thing, but, yeah. I mean, when you talk about, like, the government interaction with this, which there was a lot. So, I mean, as far as, like, least favorite characters, that was a good point, bringing up the government, because... They didn't really interfere. They kind of worked alongside with him, but kind of still let him do his thing. So it was just like, okay, what's going on here? And like, you kind of get like a rough feel for it. There's no the reason end. to really find him like that. Like, yeah. why? Yeah. I mean, like, you just want to know who he is. So you're going to arrest him to know who he is. And, and then that's it. I mean, they didn't do anything. It's like, okay, we finally know who he is, and you just straight up told me because I found out. And so do we leave him alone. Yeah. All right. Done. Yeah, that was a little weird. Yeah. Yeah, that was a little interesting at the end, and I had like. To piggyback, uh, my least favorite character was John Lithgow's character. Um, he, he was the owner of the, the, the you know company, and, and it was just interesting. I, I don't know, it just he wasn't really a villain. I think honestly, honestly, um, what's it called? Uh, John uh, Bernthal's character was he was more or less portrayed as the villain until the plot twist at the end. You know, the reveal. Yeah. Oh my God, it's my little brother. That's his brother. Every spoiler right there. See, yeah. I didn't see. I knew he didn't wasn't a villain for for me just because I knew he was just a mercenary. He was right. Yeah, he, but he was hired a, help. But he was yeah. like the lead one. So you, you know, typically in most of these movies, that's who the villain is. But he wasn't. That's why it was so surprising at the end. Um, and that's why it kind of that was just he's overall the plot twist. Right. And and the, and the Kendrick's character, you told me I was a rebuttal a little bit, but she did. Something that most women wouldn't do in film, which is actually... Did she? She did. Two guys burst into her apartment. She scrambled and knocked the fuck out of one of them. Then yeah. got in the bathroom and kept knocking them out until one of them just finally said, Fuck it. I'm breaking cover. Out my gun. I'm blowing holes in this thing. And he literally had to go beyond what he was supposed to to get to her. So she, to me, that's more of a dynamical character... That, that, that most of these movies have as far as the damsel in distress. I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to... You guys let us know. She sucked to me. <laughs> I, I don't even she know. She was adorable. Two against about. one. I mean, yeah. yeah I, she was pitch perfect. <laughs> oh, exactly. exactly. <laughs> That's exactly what she was. So if you like that movie, then maybe you would like her. But if you don't, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. Where's my cup? She was just, she was just like that. We're going to do the cup song next round. But yeah, so overall, that was my villain overall. But I, I don't know. Like, I agree with you guys on what you said. I, I love, I'm going to just throw this real quick. I love the fact that um, it was mostly about family. I think that this year we've had a couple, like, positive yeah, message yeah. movies. Even though it was action and people were getting shot in the head and stuff, it was still about family. Yeah. Family first. You know, the father did everything that he could to make sure that his boys were going to be prepared for the world. Whether or not you had a... a a mental disorder or not, mm -hmm. you're gonna freaking be prepared for the world. Oh yeah. If yeah. I gotta beat it into you, you're gonna be ready. Right, right. You know, and then at the end I won't we won't spoil it too much, but at the end it was still about the brothers. You yeah. know, so yeah. I really I really liked it. I, I it, it resonated with me. Yeah. 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 No, I really appreciate that about the brothers. Yeah, that that, that, that review like, I mean, like I kinda felt it coming along and I'm like, where is his brother? Like like I was kinda thinking and then like when they revealed his character, I was just like, Yeah, I, I feel like they could have done it maybe a little differently. I don't know. For for me it just kinda like it I, that that's the reason I had to give it like the points I like that I did. I like, I like the, the fight scene. Like his little brother still no, can prove. Like I, I got. The, I'm I'm the juice. And he's slapping him and slapping him, and he's like, "Come on, fight me!" And he's like, "I don't want to hit I you." I wasn't. The right. thing I liked about it was I wasn't sure who was going to die. I realized mm -hmm. that he was the brother. I got mm -hmm. it a long time ago. Yeah, but I didn't know who was going to be who was going to die and who wasn't. Yeah. Right. So I was like, "Oh man." So, I won't tell you who, I won't go that far, but that's what I really liked. It wasn't yeah. totally predictable. I knew who was going to be who, but 
But I didn't know what the outcome was going to be. Yeah. yeah. I, I could definitely go for, like, a, a, a second movie of this. Just, oh, yeah. just oh I'm watching the second movie. <laughs> well, that's what I'm feeling. Like, I feel like yeah. it's going to get really deep now because now we've got both of the brothers, I mean, and then the, all these other characters that could definitely play into it, you know, so... It, right, and he was actually going after a legit company. Yeah, he really was. So let's get into something that's in the Middle East or yeah. something like oh, that man. that is really going to be popping. Right, yeah. and, they, and they showed us plenty of, like, you know, you know, cartels, you know, whatever, oil and all this, like, corrupt black market stuff. So I like right. that. I like got I said, plenty of content. He does accounting for black market companies or organizations, not legit. He mm -hmm. just decides to go legit to do something easy. Mm -hmm. So now we're gonna get something that's way over top. Oh yeah. And I'm I'm down. Because honestly it wasn't a lot of like um I guess a lot of rounds being shot, but oh, the yeah. ones that were shot were very significant and oh, impactful. Yeah. So I'm definitely going to see it. I definitely would say you guys should go see it this weekend. That's the movie you should be seeing this weekend. Yeah, yeah you want an action sure. movie with it. some intellect and a good story? This is it. Mm -hmm. Definitely it all day. You're going to come out excited. You're going to come out pumped. Yeah. Not enough to hurt anyone. Yeah. We're not, we're not saying that. <laughs> but you're going to be pumped anyway. Yeah. There's just one little Easter egg that I loved that, uh, you know, he... He collects oh, things. Yes. And there was a, a Superman comic book that he had. Yep. So I was like, oh, snap. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Ben, ben Affleck, I will have to shout out on him. You know, dude, where have you been? Like, since since you did the whole Batman skit, it's like every character that I'm seeing you pop out with is just a new transition into a new a new genre of film that we're looking yeah, into. He's so definitely go see it. All right, guys, we're out. I'm DeAnthony. Adan. Conch, guys. Take care. Break Room Blitz. Like, subscribe, share. We love it. Feedback. Comment. Anything you want to get, you guys want to know, want us to review, let us know and we'll do it. All right, we're out. Peace. Black coffee matters, I mean, man. It, it matters creamer. too. I heard coffee. Yeah. It's fighting words right there. Oh, it's fighting words. But you know what? Prove it. We're going to re raise. Okay. Re raise. Okay. Bam. What's that? Empty poster holder. <laughs> There's no what? Let's go.